Hi guys, my name is Lemon and I'm the founder of Lemonade Dolls and we are filming our video series Tit Talks uh, where I interview incredible females, entrepreneurs, founders and creators and I have the amazing Venus um, with me today. <laughs> so excited to have you here. Excited to be here. Um, absolutely incredible illustrator. We Thanks. use you all the time with Lemonade Dolls. You are the queen of making a statement. Oh, thanks. Um, which we absolutely love. Thank and I think um, the first question I want to ask you is kind of, you know, what gave you the confidence to build a career out of drawing and illustrating? And Oh, gosh. Do you know what? I've always hated drawing. I fucking hate drawing. Oh, my God. Oh, I am did... I allowed to swear? I don't yes, know. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I did not think that was about to come no. out of your mouth. Hilarious. Oh, okay. I absolutely hated drawing and I come from like a sculptural background. Okay. And a couple of years ago I was living in London and I was really struggling with my mental health. And I did some stupid stuff and ended up in a hospital. And I came out of hospital and I was like, okay, I really need to create something yeah. around how I'm feeling, but I don't have the space or the facility or the money to create big work. Yeah. So I started drawing and started posting it on Instagram and people just really like resonated with it and yeah. it just kind of grew from there. So I was just drawing honest interpretations of my life, so whether yeah. it's about, you know, drinking a lot or, you know, taking pills and talking about body positivity and like female like masturbation and I just started posting it and I was like real stuff I just don't, don't care really, you really tackle yeah. the societal taboos yeah and I just um, I thought I had I just felt like it was my chance to to tackle these things that women really weren't talking about yeah so whether it would be about like what we do in the bedroom when yeah. we're alone tell us how you started your journey as an illustrator because I know that you had a different career mm. previously yeah and then you left that career to start something a little bit more personal and yeah. meaningful which is very similar to what I've done okay. um, so I can really resonate with that but could you tell our viewers about that yeah, so I was living in London and I was working for a company. I'm not going to name names because that's already unprofessional. But I was basically being sexually harassed and underpaid because I was a woman. I was not being paid equally to my male colleagues. I was experiencing disgusting behaviour by other men. I was working on building sites and being treated with the most vulgar behaviour. And something just like snapped inside of me and I was just like, I don't understand why I'm bringing this up and nothing's being done about it. And yeah. this must not just be happening up to me. Within, were you telling... Yeah, I was telling like my manager, senior, yeah. I was telling people like higher up and I was telling them and they weren't doing anything about it. Again, they were men and they were just telling me to get on with my job. And I just thought to myself, this must be happening to so many women. And at this time I wasn't on Instagram and I didn't... I wasn't a part of like this feminist movement. I didn't understand what feminine wo feminism was. Um, I was so new to it all, and I just started learning about it and educating myself about what it, what my rights were as a woman and what equality was. Yeah. And then I just wanted to put everything that I was learning and everything that I was experiencing into some form of like art. And then, so Venus Libido was kind of born out of like a frustration towards like the patriarchy and misogyny and like just all the crap that I was experiencing as a woman yeah. and I wanted other women to know that they weren't alone yeah, and that totally. they could speak up about the way they were being treated in the yeah. workplace. Oh, and one of your quotes that I read that I absolutely love and I want to ask you about oh, is um, you said there is a part of Venus libido in everyone and she challenges you to find it. Yeah. Now I absolutely love that. What, what are you wanting your followers to discover? What, what, what do you okay, mean by that? So I want, well, I grew up being a very timid person. I never stuck up for myself. I never said, term, like all my career, I never turned around and challenged the things that were wrong. Whether it be, okay, you, I'm not being paid enough, or he's getting more than me and he's doing the same job. I never said anything, I was so quiet. And then I started doing Venus Libido, and it's like, she's my alter ego to, to stand up for all these things that are wrong. Yep. So I want everybody to look at me and realise that if I can do it, they can do it. They can do it, yeah. yeah. Totally. And there's a Venus in all of us. There's guys. a Venus in all there's of us. There's a Venus in all of us. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm channeling it right now. Yeah, good. Feeling good. good. Um, so, one thing um, 
I want to touch on because I think it's really interesting um, points that we have we both share mm. and we've both done and I know that some of um, our customers and some of our followers have reached out to me about it and it's about being in a certain place in your life so yeah. I was a singer songwriter I lived in LA a few things happened and I experienced um, so I'm like quite uh, by an extremely well-known massive name in the music industry um, sexual harassment and oh, I'm so sorry. Um, no but I mean we you know it's fine yeah. I'm a, and I, I've used it for something really positive and yeah. amazing yeah. and actually like I don't look at it and think oh poor me I think like fuck you like yeah, exactly. do you know what I mean Good. totally different what I did is I you know I, I was this in this um, industry and I'm, I will definitely dip back into it when the time is right in my yeah. life and um, but I decided to change it and I made a massive jump and kind of put all of my efforts into something completely different. Yeah. Um, you know, when I was singing songwriter and touring and, you know, living in the States, it was all about me and I was pretty self-obsessed with my career. Mm. And then I decided to build a business that actually the driving force behind it is to help other people. Yeah. And you kind of have done the same thing. Mm. And a lot of people and a lot of our viewers and customers are in a job that they're either not liking mm -hmm. or suffering kind of yeah. kind of things that we've suffered from yeah. or like experienced. But like a lot of people can sit and feel very angry yeah. and not do anything about it. And feel very sad and mm -hmm. not do anything about it. And feel stuck. Yeah. And actually what I think is so inspiring about you and about a lot of the girls here today is that you are actively yeah. going to know what like yeah. this this is who I am, this is what yeah. I stand for, I'm taking all of that experience that I've had and I'm making it into something fucking amazing. Yeah, but this is the thing, like this, exactly what you're saying is that I get powered and inspired by other women. Like all the women that have been here today, they're the drive. Like knowing if they can do it, I can do it too. Yeah. Like for me, like I said, I was so timid, I was so scared of speaking up. But I just got to like a breaking point and I was just like, I cannot take any more crap from men. I cannot take any more crap in my career. I've worked so hard to get here. And as women, we do have to work a lot harder to get to certain levels within our career. And that's just the way it is right now. And hopefully yeah. that's going to change. But I just think for any person who is like really struggling, who is sat in their job right now thinking, I don't want to be here, make that change. Like you can do it like look at all the women around you in your life look at people on instagram follow the right people who are yeah, going totally. to inspire you yeah. to take those steps okay don't yeah. be scared to use your voice i mean yeah. i was so scared for so many years and you just have to do it you just have to be you just have to find something within you to say i i deserve better as a woman yeah i i, I deserve to be here i deserve to be in this room i deserve to have a voice i deserve to be listened to yeah. You just have to keep, you have to ingrain that in your head. Yeah, totally. And that's so inspiring, but you're doing that. Yeah. And how amazing is that? That you yeah. are literally building a yeah. community, building a platform. You really do have, like, so many people that are obsessed with your work. Oh, you. And you really are incredible. We yeah. absolutely love you. I just does. want everyone to know that I am just a normal girl from a small town city who has come from no money, I haven't come from anything, I've had no help, I've just gone out and done it for myself. Yeah. So like no matter where you are in your life, where you come from, how much money you have in your bank, you can fucking do it. Yeah. You just have to yes. get up. Yes. Get off your own. I don't even do it. <laughs> I don't even know how to, what, I can even follow that. Sorry. Thing. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Should we go and do something now? What can we do? Let's go. Let's go, and, yeah, yeah, let's, let's go and do something amazing. Um, oh, that's God. so good. I absolutely love you. I think you're amazing. Um, what's next for you? I'm trying to work with a couple of charities this year. Hopefully... Um, work with the Young Women's Trust. I've yeah. spoken to them today. I'd love to do some stuff with them. Um, I'm also currently working with Wooker, which is like a period pant company. One thing that I do have out, which came out today, is I've started a podcast with my good friend Natalie Byrne. Okay, amazing. And it's called The Loneliness Collaboration Podcast, and it's Incredible. all about mental health. Okay. Um, and it's very raw, it's very honest, there's a lot of tears, there's a lot of shit I hope my mum doesn't see or hear. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what so I have I'll be done. listening to that. Yeah, it's really good and we have lots and of... And just, just say one more time what it's called so people the, can find it. The Lonely... Le <laughs>
The Loneliness Collaboration. Okay, great. And you can and find it on it? all platforms. Yeah, so it's okay, on amazing. Instagram. It's, you can listen to it on SoundCloud. That's so good. What yeah. podcast and your charity? The things. podcast is the big thing at the moment yeah. for me. And like everyone, check her out. Uh, your yeah. art is just unbelievable. Thank Before you. we go, Thanks. can I um, ask you some tidbit questions? Yes. Okay. Pants or thong? Pants. Bralette or crop top? Bralette. Madonna or Beyonce? Beyonce. Vodka or gin? Neither. Can I say wine? Yes. Okay. What type of wine? Red wine? All of it. Oh, oh yes. Lovely. My girl. <laughs> My type of girl. Uh, lemon or lime? Lemon. Notting Hill or Love Actually? Love Actually. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Invisible, so I can purr on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like not sorry. Now. That I'm was so hilarious. Sorry. I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> also, just wanted to clarify that there's no hair on my butt. Like, <laughs> it's okay. Like, I've got lots of butt hair. Yeah. So. <laughs> Either way, we're all beautiful.